Welcome back to Fabio's Fabulous Review. I'm Fabio. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Samsung 22 cubic feet four door French door counter debt refrigerator with 21 and a half inch touchscreen family hub in black stainless steel edition. So this Samsung's refrigerator most noticeable feature is the color of black stainless steel. As you can see, it's a darker shade of the stainless steel that's out there. Now, the next visible thing is the four door French door design. You have the two French doors on top and you have the freezer on the bottom. Now, what's in the middle between the French door and the freezer is the flex zone drawer. There is four different temperatures that you can set that up for and I'll be explaining that shortly. And lastly, the most visible thing is the family hub with a 21.5 screen display speaker and more entertainment than you'll need in your kitchen so the first thing you need to know about this refrigerator is you do have to do some installation it's not that much the refrigerator does weigh about 324 pounds the dimensions of the um, refrigerator with handles and the doors are going to be 35 by 3 quarters inches wide, 70 inches in height, and 31 inches in depth. With the, without the handles, you're talking about 3 inches and a half less, about 28 and a half inches in depth. Now, the uh, installation of the handles are real simple. You just need a little Allen wrench, and that's it. Now, Samsung calls them easy open handles, which allows for easy opening and closing of a fully loaded drawer. Besides that, it's just the easy installation of the water line to the refrigerator. That way you can dispense your water and your ice. The next items you need to install will be the drawer shelves. And I'll show you that shortly. Uh, there's a total of uh, five shelves. Three of them are fixed. You have uh, two crisper drawers and two adjustable shelves that go from standard size to slide in or flip up to store tall items just as easy as that. The next feature is the flex zone drawer. It's a flexible storage drawer with four different temperature settings. You have a setting of 29 degrees Fahrenheit for meat and fish. You can change it to 30 degrees Fahrenheit for cold drinks, uh, 37 degrees Fahrenheit for delis and snacks, and 42 degrees for wine and party dishes. It also has an adjustable smart divider to stay organized depending on the size of the items that you put on that drawer. So let's now move on to the freezer. It is 6.5 cubic feet of space. Now this is different from uh, most uh, freezers. Uh, those of you who are used to having the freezer on the top, that's very old school. And then you have something that's older also is the side-by-side -side freezer. Now this freezer does have two bins and a sliding drawer, which sometimes does come out of line from the tracks. And I will show you shortly. So a few highlights I want to mention is the ice dispenser. It does take up a lot of space on the shelves area and it takes a lot of space on the door rack area as you can see in these photos. The LED lighting, very bright, very convenient. It does light up your whole entire fridge. And we move on now to the metal cooling which helps maintain consistent temperature throughout the refrigerator i've never had any issues with maintaining the fridge at its optimal cooling level now we move on to the best thing about this samsung refrigerator which is the 
Family Hub Entertainment, which is Wi-Fi enabled with Bixby. You could also even use it with Google. You get smart things alerts on it, and you can stay connected by utilizing your calendar, making meal plans, using the whiteboard to leave messages. Now we go to viewing the inside of the fridge without even opening the door. A great feature that you can even use when you're outside at the supermarket and want to know what's inside the fridge. Now, the cameras are right there on the left side of the door. There's only three cameras and the only disadvantage is that you cannot see uh, in the flex zone or the uh, freezer. Now, there is a reset button, as you can see, on top of the peanut butter. Well, obviously, it'll be on the top of the uh, right door, and you can turn it on and off if you need to reset it. So the visible speaker is very loud. It's 12 inch by three inch. It has a 25 watt output. I'm telling you, it's very loud for you to enjoy music in your kitchen. I'm gonna play for you the uh, theme song to my channel. Hopefully it sounds loud enough, but I'm telling you, it is loud. So I want to start discussing the cons about this fridge. Yes, it is fingerprint resistant, but it's not smudge resistant. As you can see from the door handle to the doors and the actual screen itself, just like any cell phone, you do have to wipe it down every so often. And there's a feature that you can utilize to clean the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen so you don't activate any other apps. Now, the hugest disadvantage to this fridge, and I'm telling you, it is so huge that even Samsung, after I bought this fridge, sent me an email telling me, if the ice maker is not working properly, do these steps to fix it. If not, contact Samsung Care and they will fix it for free for the lifetime of the fridge. I'm telling you, I've had this fridge for a little over three years and twice, twice I've called out and they've come and replaced it. Now, it's great service, but you are without ice maybe for five days to, you know, depending on your schedule, up to two weeks. So that is the hugest disadvantage. But again, Samsung Care does come out and care and help their customers with this issue with their ice maker. As you can see with this photo in the back, it seems that some condenser, the fan stops working or, uh, or freezes and they go and replace it at no charge to the owner. We've arrived to the ending of this video. Now we get to the part on my star rating for this Samsung refrigerator. Now, most people will give this zero stars or even one stars with a huge problem with the ice maker. Um, I don't give items five stars because everything is room for improvement. Usually four stars, my highest rating that I'll give anything that I really, really like. Uh, based on the issue that we've had with the uh, ice maker and it's something that Samsung knows and they're changing it on their new uh, bespoke refrigerator, which I should be getting soon, is a three out of five star. That's what Fabio's review, Fabio says this is a three out of five stars. Again, it's only because of the Samsung care. I know other people will give this, like I said, zero, one stars, maybe even two stars, but I'm a person that knows they're doing their best and they're trying to be there for their customers. So three out of five stars. I hope this review helps you guys out if you're interested in this fridge or if not, just wait for a better version that comes out there. Thank you. Be safe. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.